Hey guys, we are back some more. Let's play Barnyard. In the last episode, we did like six different missions. And in this, in this episode, we're going to talk to Otis over here. Looking good. Back at you, Otis. I can't believe you beat the pigs at Mud Jumpers. Well, I still need to redo that game to get a star. Because I want to get the best ranking. You could be a contender for Barnyard Champion. Tell me more. We're always playing games here in the barnyard, and we keep track of everyone's best results. Every time you get a record, you'll receive a letter grade. If you get a really high score, you'll get a star. You can check your high score results on high scores on your scorecard. The animals with the most stars in the bar is the barnyard champion. That would be me. Not surprising. I might have guessed. I don't know how, but okay. Pip keeps the records. See him if you want to know how many stars everyone has. Watch out, Otis. You might lose that trophy real soon. We'll see. If you're going to beat my records, you'll need a bike. You can have my bike key. I don't ride it anymore. Not since Mrs. Beatty saw me. Or after you tripped over that blue tongue logo and killed yourself. Press A to pedal and X to brake. Press B if you want to jump. Press X while turning to do a slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, take it for a spin. <laughs> oh, why not? Okay, we just got a message. Okay, we were supposed to see Pig and Ben after this, but it's too late to meet them now. Alright. So I guess while we got some free time, we can uh, take the bike for a spin. But yeah, Spawn Your Champion is another requirement to get 100% in this game. So, if you want to get 100% in this game, you have to get Barnyard Champion, and that means... Alright, let's see how many stars that Otis has. Wait, no, I was wrong. Okay, currently, we have one star. Now, let's go see Pip. Wait. Yeah, Pip is still there. Okay, yeah. We still go see him. Hey! Hey, Pip, who's the Barnyard Champion? Here are the current standings. Okay, Otis has 19 stars. So, when you get 20 stars, that means that you're a Barnyard Champion. And you'll get a text message from Pip telling you, okay? And then something special will happen. I'm not going to spoil it, though. Later, dude. Okay, so, I forgot to mention earlier in the Let's Play that this game is, uh, this game has a day and night system. At night time, there are some missions that you have to do that you can only do at night, and there are most, but most of the missions in the game can only be completed during the day. But now it's approaching night time, and every time it gets to night time, right before... Yeah, every time it gets to nighttime, when you're at the barnyard, you'll see a cutscene here in a second. You should do it right about now. Any second now. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's kind of short right now, but it'll get longer soon. Okay, so I forgot to pick up the notes that Pip told us about also. So here's the first one. Smashing crates and barrels is a great way to make a new ex a few extra gopher bucks. See, so yeah, I was going to talk about them in the last episode and pick up the, the ones in the barnyard. But apparently got sidetracked when he started talking about the... the what should we call it? The, what was it? Whatever else he... Yeah, he gave us the, sun, the sunglasses. That, that's when I got sidetracked. Gates can only be opened with a gate key. Ben gives keys to animals he can trust. So as you can see there, there are 64 notes in the game. It is also another requirement to get 100%. So I'll be doing that as well. Just do whatever I can. 
I mean, like, it's not actually that hard to get 100% in this game. Not really at all. Smash it. Create some barrels. For no particular reason, actually. Um, but... For now, there's really nothing you can do at night time. Because there are no night missions, so pretty much... There's no reason to wait until nighttime, except for getting these notes. Cell phones are so handy these days. Always check your text messages, and you'll know if any animals are looking for you. Okay, so I'm pretty certain that that's the last note in the barnyard. And I'm pretty sure I got all the, all the recipe rocks, too. So, with that in mind, I guess I could probably... Explore the outer part now. You can leave the barnyard for the first time and look around out here. I like how when you leave the barnyard at night time, you he he hear this song. This game has some pretty good music, but I'm really disappointed to find out that there is no... They don't really have any soundtrack on... I, I haven't seen any of the music videos on YouTube at all for any of these songs, which is kind of disappointing. Recipe rock here. Chocolate fudge, chocolate chocolate butter. Oh yeah, my way. This is Gopher Hill. This place is not important to us just yet, but it will be real soon. We got a few notes here. You can find all kinds of things inside the barn. The farmer keeps ice and chocolate in there. Most of the time when you read the, these notes, they'll have information that you already know about. So they're pretty much they're useless unless you want to get it 100%. Now here the song changes to the best tune I've ever heard in this game. This. The Jersey cows are a real nuisance. They think they are the best cows on the farm and they challenge any newcomer. We'll meet the Jersey cows later, but yeah. I really love this song. It's such a relaxing tune, actually. It's really nice to hear it. Um, we got two locked gates here, but we cannot open them yet. We have a uh, our bike there. Oh yeah. Um, here's something that's weird about the game. Whenever you lose your bike or you get far away, far enough away from it, it will just teleport to one of these one of these bike stops. I just thought that was kind of weird. It's just video game logic that that bikes teleport to the to the closest bike stand, or the one that's closest to you. Better yet, it's important to sleep at night. You can't be your do you, be your best if you're tired all the time. All right, so we've done all we can at Gopher Hill for now. Um. Some notes and recipe rocks out here too. Climbing Gopher Hill is easy; you just have to keep jumping, like I previously demonstrated. Apple cobbler, apple butter, and flour. Yep. Again, eventually I will cook all these up, all these recipes, and show you what they look like in the game. It's quite interesting, actually. In fact, I could probably actually do that tomorrow in the game, not, not in real life. Especially since I don't update update this game every day of the week. Tomorrow is a uh, carrot juice, carrot, carrot, carrot. Yep. Some of the recipes they put in this game are just so unoriginal. Like all, like if, to make carrot juice, you just mix three carrots together. How simple is that? There's not really much creativity in most of the recipes of the game. It's just the game makers being lazy, kind of. So basically, this is what I'm going to do every time I open up, a, uh, open up a new area in the game. And this will help me stay organized. Basically, what I'll do is I'll just I'll automatically just walk around that new area, explore it, show it to you guys, and get all the recipe rocks and notes there. That's my way of going through this game. If you don't agree with it, then don't watch this Let's Play. But if you do, then... 
glad you would like it. Otis doesn't ride his bike anymore, not since Mrs. Beatty saw him. Or like I said, after he tripped over that uh, blue tongue logo. You see before you start the game. That was just animal, pure animal abuse, okay? Nickelodeon, how could you do that? They're crazy people. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna go much further for now, because it's, as you can see, daylight is now approaching. That was like less than five minutes of nighttime. Yeah, it was like nighttime for less than five minutes. Okay, so now farmer's leaving, just like the, just like Duke says. And it is now Wednesday in the game, as well as in real life, actually. It's... Okay, um, so yeah, now we can t oh, whoopsie. That's my, yeah, this is the scorecard. It shows you how many stars you have, what your ranking is for every game. Any, every mini game, I mean. Okay. So let's go talk to Pig first. I think I know what he wants us to do, actually. Are you hungry? <laughs> oh, uh, just asking. What's up now, Pig? Well, seeing as you asked, I've run out of butter in the kitchen. Yeah, I remember this one. Can you get me some? How do I get butter? The farmer leaves the milk cans inside the barn during the day. Press A to fill milk can with milk. Then you can press B to, to take the milk or press A to shake it. Keep tapping A until you get cream, but be quick or the milk will curdle. Once you have cream, you can then either take the cream with B or else turn it into butter by pressing A. You can only use milk one, each milk can once per day. Just like uh, how you can grab only grab one egg from the the chicken coop once a day. So, can you get me some butter from the barn? Sure, why not? Okay, we'll do. All right, so now we're gonna go into the barn. <laughs> He's teaching about us about cell phones here. Uh, all right. This will probably be the last mission I do in this episode. All right, here we are in the barn. Looks like pretty much any other barn. And here's a little secret people a lot of people don't know about. You can prep. You can uh. You can move that. You can press A there. And you can you'll you don't move this ladder around. So you wanna so Yeah, there's not really anything up there, except there is a gold rush machine, and I'll tell you about what explain what those are later. Sorry about that, I got interrupted. The recording got interrupted suddenly because... Uh, why is it lagging? Wow, we had a severe amount of lagging there. Anyways, um, the recording got uh, interrupted for a second because I got... My dad accidentally called me because his phone sometimes... His phone sometimes pocket dials me on, on X. I don't know how it happens and why it's always me he accidentally calls kind of it makes no sense it's kind of weird anyways um let's go with milk cans oh and by the way for for whatever reason they have these these cows sleeping here in the in the barn during the day but i don't know why all right so this is a there's three milk cans here there's a lot more than these like downstairs and this is just weird it, it looks like he's it looks like he's he's like jacking off in the into the can. It's just it's so weird. Why would you why would you put something like that in a game that's rated E10? I, I don't know. 
It's just creepy. But yeah, you have to tap A a little faster when you when you turn the cream into butter. You don't have to tap it as fast when you're turning into cream from milk. Oh god. Uh Nickelodeon. Like we'll leave that cream there. And uh oh crap we're out of time. Okay, I'm gonna I was gonna show you guys pretty much the whole barn there, but I got sidetracked and it took longer than I expected, so I'm gonna have to uh and things off here by talking to Pig. But yeah, we got what he wanted, what he needed, so there we go. <laughs> Sweet! No problem, fresh from the cow. Ugh, yeah, yeah, Pig likes that. As long as it's fresh from the cow, he likes it. And also, lots of recipes use milk, cream, and butter. Yeah, we know that. Remember, you can use each milk can in the barn once per day. Will do, pig. I think I'll go get a snack. But you're too fat to get up and get a snack. Whatever. Anyways, okay, we're out of time, so we're going to end things off here. So thank you for watching episode 3 of Let's Play Barnyard. I'm Multicost Gamer, signing out.